Welcome to the nonsenses. My name is relevant, but this has has begun. And what this is is a census of nonsense that may serve as sort of like a like a time capsule, like an like an audio reference, uh, a, a history tome with mouth sounds that will reflect upon uh, what folks. Humans, as I say, magical turtles, were thinking and saying at the time when this stuff was said and recorded. I am here with, what is your name? My name is Kaylin. That's great. Yeah. What's your name there over there now, chewing over there now? Marcus Concernicus. And you decided to chew? Yes. Today? Um, I've been recently inspired. Is this because you wanted to um, chew, uh, chew while I ponder. display that humans eat? We have to frequently. I have to eat. I don't have a thyroid. If I don't eat, I'll several times crash. You don't have a thyroid. I don't have a thyroid gland. I can't visualize a thyroid. That's one of those things that when people say, th- "Okay, okay," it's but like I still wrapped. can't visualize it. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, is, it is it ovular? It's like a weird fleshy thing wrapped mm. around your esophagus, <laughs> and it mm. it produces a chemical that's sent to your pituitary. That's then like a general in a war tells everyone what to do, oh. and I don't have a general, oh. so no one knows what to do. With you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, stop <laughs> as soon as you can eating. Uh, Kaylin, you have, you, do you have organs? I have all of them, yes. All the ones that you're supposed to have. Now, how do you know that? As far as I know. I think I actually have an, like a little bit extra of an organ. Extra organs? Uh, yeah, like my second tongue, it can come out of the you, like, You're like what? a xenomorph. Yeah. Two tongues, Can you do huh? the thing where your tongue comes out of your tongue and it spits yeah. acid and kills? Well, no. Oh, that would no be something. No acid is involved. <laughs> well, we now, might melt the gear. That brings to, to the first question today, which is what 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 do we know? So how how do you know that you have all your organs? You have to you, you at some point you had to take somebody's word for that. Right? I did. Yeah. Yeah. All the doctors I've ever seen. Well, you can poke around. I actually have never and... asked them. Now that you're saying that. I yeah, never really asked if I had all my it's organs. It's not a common question. <laughs> like I just, I just got my yearly physical. There are all my organs in there. Do I have <laughs> They're all a, there, right? <laughs> if I only had a brain. Marcus, you have a brain. A little one, but yeah, it works. That's, well, it's, what? It's rambling around in there somewhere. Tells other things to do. The stegosaurus yeah. was said to have a tiny brain. I remember, I remember thinking that and wondering what that, what that looked like, like practically. Like what sort of problem-solving situations a stegosaurus would get into and be like, oh, I got a tiny brain, I don't know. It would probably pulse a little bit. <laughs> like a sad stegosaurus. It's probably no bigger than a jelly bean, I thought. Jelly bean brain? Dinosaurs were very large. No, the brains. Oh. Dinosaurs... It seems like they're getting more close to kind of sure that they were bird-like, that they were feathery. And now how, like, that's the crazy thing about us. Like, we just accept that and move on. Like, that was such a thing for so long that you, we, th- they looked like they do in the Jurassic Park. Yeah, a bunch of lizards. Yeah, and not even just lizards. Like, if you look, like, okay, when I had the, the, the T-Rex from Jurassic Park toy, Remember with the with the battle damage and you'd rip out chunks there. Anyway, oh, I didn't have that. Oh, it was great. They, it was smooth to the touch and it was not scaly, so it wasn't like any other lizard that I knew. It was like this. It, it, it looked like it had it had um, like the, the the color that is around us right now, like this sort of sort of deep space between uh, brown and burgundy. Like it was that color, but it was like manatee texture. And I mm. always wanted to hug a manatee, like a sea cow. Just, just like, just to feel them, you know. I felt things recently that I didn't know how they felt before. <laughs> Probably like feel like wet silicone or something like that. <sighs> I can't, I can't. But Have they you ever felt feathered. a stingray? No. We we felt no. stingrays at at, at uh, <sighs> what was that place in Florida? Sea World. Mm-hmm. It was like a big pool of stingrays that have had wow. their stingers removed, and you can like feed them things, and they like. I'd tear up. S- suckle at your hand a little bit. I'd cry. I'd yeah. cry because of Disney's Moana, because the grandmother turns into a stingray. Oh, and I went, I went to visit my grandmother the yet. other day. Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. You want some insight on how deep it gets? Yeah. I'm, I'm, Spill I'm, it. I'm at my grandmother's nursing home, and I'm just, you know, hanging out with her. And there's a moment of silence. And I hear in the hallway, I didn't get to see them. I hear, who are you? And guy goes... I'm your husband, and th- now this is not this is not to be fun. This is tr- this is tragic. 
Lee, beautiful. Probably funny because I'm not able to, to say it without a smirk on my face right now. But but it was at the time it it broke and exploded my heart. It was uh, she, she goes she goes, who are you? And he and he says, I'm your husband. And and she's like, oh, are, are you a friend? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, so you won't leave me. And he goes, we are each other. Oh my goodness! Isn't that? And, he, and then later he said, we've been married for 60 years. Man. Whoa. So you should imagine, like, the back and forths that have to go on in that situation, you know? 60 years of wild conversations. They saw some crazy stuff. Well, like, he has to deal, he has to deal with the daily... Her for Who are you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he has to and introduce himself to his wife of 60 years several times a day. Do you think he ever made, like, videotape? Like Adam anything. Sandler. Like, yeah, like it was it ever like a like a thing like well we can only speculate you didn't get the no the, the because the, I mean the the, the 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 cold truth about like those when I've witnessed situations of that where there's a lot of folks who have a very short loop of memory is that uh, they've got to take folks' word for it they've got to take the ones in the lab coats work for it. they're not lab coats but but like but like just like we like we we think we have all our organs and. I've never even asked that specific question, but like, you know, I don't know that. I don't even have a way to ascertain that truth. Even if I had an x-ray at my house, I don't know how to read it. Yeah. Uh, I guess I could just like, I could I compare could this. To, well, I could be missing could a few things out. myself. I didn't really get the medical records that proved that it wasn't there. They just said, hey, this isn't there. You need drugs. Uh -huh. Take the drugs. What if, what if you don't, what if you don't, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if you don't have a if, if, soul? If, uh, well, what if somebody tells you you have that one day? You know? Like, you lose Man. weight when you die. What I don't if, know. I'd feel like the scarecrow would be like, you know, maybe it was there the whole time. I just didn't even know. Didn't what if know a real with boring it? jerk dies and doesn't lose the soul weight? <laughs> the 12 ounces? Uh? What does it weigh again? Uh, what, there was I like, don't remember, but oh, like, it imagine like, it's like, oh, this one, had nothing came out of him. It's <laughs> like, oh, well, it's because he sucked. <laughs> <laughs> he had nothing to give. Uh, I'd like to think I have a soul, but I got I I uh, I, don't, I don't know what I base that off of. I don't even know if that's a boon in what, life. What having a soul? I like I mean I like people who are soulful. Ah uh, yes, but that's just a word that we say to describe something abstract as hell. Or if someone that you know really celebrates life, I would say would be soulful. I'm into it. Hey, Caitlin, how, 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 how into life are you? Like, I'll just give you a one to ten as far as ten is just like gushing with bliss and zero is like actively trying to terminate one's existence. I'd probably say like an eight. That's good. That's good for yeah. like middle class American. <laughs> but we, that's so weird. Whenever I refer to myself as something class, it's like once you detach from your parental nest, it's like... Do I remain middle class because they were? Because I'm definitely not, like, that doesn't reflect with my, my income. I lost all connection to that word a while ago. I don't know. I've, I'm pretty comfortable living out of a van or, yeah. you know, whatever. Whatever class that is, I'm comfortable being that. Comfortable with van life? Is van that's, life, That's yeah. too many syllables to be a, a class. Is it? Yeah. Uh, the biggest one we got now is upper middle. <laughs> I think it's just right. comfort in general. Uh, yeah, that people yeah. are, are lack, well, even lacking. That, yeah, well, that's how I that's how I see the whole thing is that like uh, the the biggest uh, variable of someone's wealth is if they think they are that. Right. And the example that I give is like if you got so you got a uh, boat. This is the first first proper noun uttered on the nonsense. So you have uh, a a a Donald Trump, for, oh, for example, if he in. In his, in his days of just being a being a business guy, if he if something happened and several things like this did that were like oh that 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 puts us back a few, you think he rode in a smaller limo that night? Do you think he got the cheaper meal the next time he went out to dinner? No, it's like I'm rich. That's what I am. Uh, I have an infinite like in, in, influx of resources constantly because I am why wealth was invented. You know, yeah. and there's folks who don't think that at all. There's folks who are like like my father, who is terrified that money will leave him, and and not seemingly not happy enough when it arrives. <laughs> I'm somewhere in the middle of that. I'm like, I don't know. I'm content with being. 
don't know, poor, I guess the word is, but because we have to use this funny money to buy everything that we need to. What's funny you know, about the money? Everything is funny. It's funny, right but money is meant to be spent. It's not meant to like be sitting somewhere. Yeah, it's, isn't that it's supposed to just cycle hate through. It. What? So you get the things that you want and that you need, and therefore what about it the, fluctuates to others. What about the dopamine rush that you must get from like I'm, I've just got ten million more dollars and nothing's going to happen with it. It just goes. <laughs> it just goes into the soul bank of my. Power. Just there. To... How is that not the, the what money is is meant for? Because there's not a rule yet. There's not a rule that says stop having too much money. <laughs> and that's how I've been thinking lately. I used to just I used to be so angry with people who did like the wrong thing. I thought, but then I realized like we're we're doing the capitalism game, and n- there's no rules in it that say don't be a jerk with this. They just say get it all and own everything and everyone. And and the the degree to which you own everything and everyone is a degree to which you're winning the capitalism game. When and, and I and I came to this by uh, loving chess. It's just like you learn from chess. It's like here is the game. Here is how it is played. Here is the rules. This move does this. And the only thing you can do in chess is try to win as cutthroatedly as possible. And now I'm not saying I'm not I'm not justifying those who do who do dastardly things in the name of capitalism or playing the game of wealth stuff, but I can't I just, I, I change the game if you want, you know. It's like that's the that, yeah. You know? Well, it creates culture that like wants it and they they don't even know they want to keep this whole thing going. They just are terrified if it goes away yeah. and don't know what to do and it's in the then that void. Yeah. Well, it's I, I mean, it's it's a little little bit more than a cultural thing. I don't know. It's, it's it's not just like like liking hip hop. It's 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 you're supposed to you're required to get money. You are required to have paper cheddar come and flowing into into your, into your existence, or else you will end up in debtor's prison. Debtors? Debtor's prison. Debtor's prison. They still do that. Oh man! I've seen. I've seen. Like I saw. I saw a dude like fall into a manhole the other day, like a trap door. Um, he, like what in the ground? No, like he was walking down the street, and I could see the moment where he checked his phone, and it said, "You didn't pay your taxes," and then oh, the ground fell out from under him. <laughs> oh, and okay. flames shot up. <laughs> and that's that's what they do to folks these days. That needs to happen to a few people. I got a list. <laughs> For for not paying taxes, you're angry with people for not oh, paying yeah. the state, or for other reasons. Well, like I, I mean, I hear about you know like all these people that hoard all this money, and I get like they don't want to give it to the government because look uh. what they fucking do with it. But you know that's that's I'm stuck battling that whole thing. It's like yeah, I understand paying your taxes gets you know kids education. You know it keeps the roads put together when they decide to spend money on fixing the roads. But uh, yeah, when people are fleeing the country because they don't want to pay their taxes because Pentagon loses what two point six trillion. Don't know what we did with that, but give us fifty billion more. There are things. <laughs> there are things that need to explode. Oh man! And, and if we don't have the money to explode those, they will remain intact, <laughs> and that is unacceptable. It just drives you, people insane. When you were what saying that, just what I was here. just thinking is like, we gotta blow the, this up, man. If if it were if there were ever to be like a news story of like multi-trillionaire told by government not to be trillionaire, like there would be there there'd be a whole camp of folks who their school of thought would require them to freak out about that. You can't tell him not to be a multi-trillionaire. He has more than the, the gross national everything. <laughs> but <laughs> Global wealth. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. That's where we're at. We, there, there, is, there, there can be no considerations of changing the game, or at least the people aren't, aren't allowing for that yet. So we are where we are. And, uh, but, but it doesn't mean, like, don't you know, try. I, I, think, I don't know how I go about changing that. I think we're in. I think we're at. Uh, we're seeing this whole thing come apart, though, piece by piece, and it's huge. Oh, yeah. So there's a lot of pieces. Oh yeah. And they're big pieces. Oh yeah. They're chewy and sticky. There's, <laughs> what, Kaylin? What do you? 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 What do you feel? What do you? What, what, how, do you how do you? How do you? How do you feel about that? <laughs> about like, like about like the idea that that you've let, you're like Anna. On, on some sort of like, there's a rating system for human beings, and that, that and that your uh, your your income. No, that that is <laughs> that I think myself. is okay. makes you wealthy as hell. Okay. That's what I'm getting at. Right. I, if you have an eight on the scale of of a- 
actively rushing one's own suicide and 10 being like just bursting with joy like to the point of being almost uncomfortably blissful and I've had that happen before. <laughs> Coffee sometimes does that mm -hmm. to me. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> This whole, this whole the thing idea, of an the idea of Black though. Mirror. Mm -hmm. This whole rating of the people. You know what I'm I talking had to, about? Yeah, I had to make him watch that. Wow, yeah. that was an uncomfortable <laughs> series. Folks have to make me watch things because it's so hard to, uh, to, to just keep my attention. It's oh, just really I difficult. understand. I need yep. someone there to pressure me. But anyway, I just wanted to finish that question. Just like the, like the idea that like you're an eight on the scale that I think you know matters. But there's another other numerical system called like wealth dollar money stuff. Right. And uh, and and no offense to either of you or myself, but I'm we don't we don't place high on low. that at all. No. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 here at least right. in, in in America. In, 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 in other places Although I have like imaginary work. money. Like I'm a homeowner, so uh, yeah. that makes me somewhat somewhere, but I don't, I, yeah. I'm like, I have a, a we, thing we have, we have stuff. Money. Yeah, we don't have money, we have equity. Yeah. And yeah. then we might be able to tap into that yeah, later. Yeah, you can. I could even do that now. I can go refinance my house Equestrian and make up some equity. more money. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think about equestrian equity? Like, it's just like, screw gold, and I don't want paper money. I just I just start hoarding horses. <laughs> <laughs> the best that, breeds. Wow. I, I don't know yeah. if I could ever live in that world, because it's hard enough for me just to go to Mackinac Island without, like, throwing up in my mouth. I've never it's lucidly I've been never to been Mackinac. There. You know, it's... Have you? No. We got to go to Mackinac. It's a beautiful place. You can... You can Take bikes all around the beautiful island. There's a lot of stuff to see, but I'm telling you, the main drag is a main drag. When we do really specific uh, proper smell. nouns like that, you got we got to explain what Mackinac is. So Mackinac is uh, is uh, oh, man. is a peninsula island uh, thing. It's a thing that it's looks own it looks like island. the po like uh, like the pink Power Rangers um, like her her vehicle. That's oh, what I thought I it looked like as a I kid. I can't even picture the, the shape the of the island, island in my head. Yeah. It looks like a pterodactyl with, with no wings. Wow, weird. So yeah. like a crooked noodle? But not like but... a pterodactyl <laughs> snake, but like a, like a pterodactyl like taper, <laughs> maybe. No, not a taper. <laughs> Is a that taper. those weird like worms with the, with the teeth? Though, that's, that's the thing that gets killed at the like very a... beginning of Apocalypto by Mel Gibson. Oh, have you, and seen, they were have the... you seen Apocalypto? Yeah, a long time Dark. ago. And I don't remember those. Darkness. Yeah, that was a crazy movie. But like, I'm thinking uh, when they, it, in King Kong, when they're in that ravine, they fall into that crevasse with all the gnarly uh, bugs that are bigger than cars, and those worms come out. Like, they, yeah. they got the teeth sticking out yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, are, oh, those you know what those might be called lamp lampers. Lamp lampfreys. Lampfreys. Yeah. Freshwater lamfrey. Oh man, they got like rows of circular teeth or whatever. I used to have a stand-up bit Tapeworms where I yeah. said See? I said that as a as a cunnilingus joke. <laughs> I said I said you'd have to you'd have to salt me off of her like a freshwater lamfrey. <laughs> you'd have to scrape me off like a barnacle. Oh man, something like that. Like it was a thing. Rip me off like a face hugger. Yeah. That's coming out soon. The, the <laughs> Xenomorphs. And we said Z Xenomorph. Oh, yeah. I missed, yeah, I didn't jump in with the follow through. Yeah. I'm a little slow. And, and so relating that to, to sex, because aliens, oh, whenever you mention aliens, I uh, we're going to have sex yeah. with them. You know, it's like it's an immediate, <laughs> you can't bring that up without it immediately becoming. I think becoming. I said at the last podcast, or like, about sex with anyone you want. I was like, aliens, sex Definitively with erotic thought. Yeah. Who's the same about? Aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But not the, you know, not the Xeno, you know. The no, that's what I was thinking, because they would be very difficult. Not, wow. even, even How would each you other, even, even each other. Off. Think of them having sex with each other. I mean, you'd have to, like, dodge that extra mouth coming out of their face, and, like, God, whoa. Settle yeah. down. That's, like, hungry hippos. Like, or go for it. Yeah, Don't well, dodge it. I mean, hey, if you've got the package to withstand that kind of uh, abuse. There are animals There's that only when so far I'll go. they have, have intercourse... Aliens. Like certain animals, when they have intercourse, and and I observe this via nature documentary or just being in the right place at the right time, um, it seems like more or less enjoyable than others. Like like our, our thing, and this is biased because I'm a, I'm I'm a this, but like when I see two humans fucking, I'm like that seems cool. Like that seems really <laughs> enjoyable, you know. Uh, but if but but if you see two like bearded dragons, that did not. What, what, how do you rate them? It's vicious. Vicious. Yeah, the yeah. males like attack the, them from across. They grab the back of their necks. Yeah. They tear them all up and I they think, just oof. pin them down. It's like a lizard thing yes. across the board too. I think. Yeah. Does yeah, one die? Majority. No, no. It's, they could very oh, much hurt them. Because I saw little tiny lizards that might not have the teeth that could yeah. kill another. 
they just like pinch the back of the neck and he's just kind of like, like barrel rolls because like, they have a grain sure. bearded dragons have like a grain mm -hmm. you know you can't even pet one without like slightly injuring yourself no they're not that hard it's all appearance but when you're if you're mounted on one and you're the size of yeah a bearded dragon yeah. that's wild <laughs> I always think about things like that. Like, what if you found, like, the person that you just fall so tremendously in love with, but they have bearded dragon scales on their back? You know, just something like that. It's like, what, what are you willing to overlook? <laughs> you know? You'd have to find the super What do you think of that? I'm gonna, I'll ask you, Kaylin. What about if somebody, if there, is, there was a gentleman who you were absolutely just, uh, just ready to g get married and do the whole thing forever, but on his, like, mons pubis, he has, like spikes and there's a grain and you're gonna it's it's gonna get you <laughs> you have to be very open-minded yeah i suppose yeah ready for the pain or that like documentary <laughs> teeth you know what if it went the other way what if what if there was teeth in there i like to i like to lean towards the idea that it's just it's okay to just be like, ah other human sorry this one's got spikes you know and because well, it's beautiful if you can override it. I'm just saying that if it's if it's bound to be a thing that like ruins your life, I, I I'm a strong believer in the fact that there is not just one for you. There may very well be in the thousands. Oh, like there man. may be in the thousands of human. There are seven billion people on this planet. Yeah. And you know, ev even if you're a boring old heterosexual, you've got you. Pro there's probably over a thousand people on this planet that you uh, would be. So about, and not just in a in a loinful, lusty way, but in like a true heart connection, bro, bro, sort of thing. I like you know? the loinful, lusty ways, though. So. Yeah, loinful, loin. That's a good one. I like that. I, 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 I mean, it, it, there's not, there's few things in this world that offend me, but when someone tries to say that's not a word, I'd like, I just drop <laughs> whatever I'm holding. I'm like, okay, all right, settle down. What does loin mean? Oh, where lust come from, sort of thing. Okay, what does what does it mean when something is full? And it's like I've got it in there. Okay, so there's lustful and there's and there's a passion. Full. No, there's not that. But you know what yeah. that means. You, yeah. If somebody says, says passional, passionful, passionful, you know what they're saying. So that's what it it's is a to new, do a word. a word. That's what a word is. That's what it does. And particularly when people correct folks who like are new to English, <laughs> it's like, bro, it is so impressive to be multilingual. Like, yeah, I just think it's the. I'm, I just know a handful, a few other words from other languages. I'm not. I would love to be fluent in something, but yeah, I'm. I'm they from. say that they say that we're, that like there, I've heard several folks tell me that we're multilingual. That like it it changed my life on the same degree as like doing a psychedelic to learn a new language because there are there are understandings that are painted with these words that we don't have. Like oh, there's well, a there's yeah. a word in German that it, that <laughs> means the amniotic tranquility of being indoors during a thunderstorm. That's one word. Whoa. In German. Yeah, it's just a word that means that. Whoa. You know? But you know what I mean? That's a feeling. And, uh, or uh, Schadenfreude, which is like when, uh, when someone that you were an enemy with uh, gets smited by life. Or like if a, a former lover that things went sour with, like things, don't, things go sour for them. And you're like, ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. feels good, yeah. Who, who do you feel malice for? Malice, oh man, that's a tough one. I probably shouldn't say their name on the on the radio. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's <laughs> there's a there's a handful of people that that could use a good kicking, but you know. Who do you want me to take care of? Oh man. Well, by that I mean like like ten like, to. Like there's like no a, way to say like it. Once, spell. once you've said it like that, that is a phrase like take care of. It's yeah. Like, I mean like ten to. I mean like I don't you think know anybody like, babies help head. out. Yeah. You know, make them. You know, show them the way. I'll, I'll say this. <laughs> I'm, I, I feel like I feel like I'm not a very malicious person because if you give me that, like, okay, the, the, the example I always give is uh, in X Men, one of the X Men movies. I don't remember which one. There was Cerebro, and you can plug in and you see all of where the humans and the mutants are, and then you can like just terminate them, you know, sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Like, if I had. I would need like a month to research and really look into folks before being uh, feeling comfortable with that decision. But if you were like, you got 10 minutes to go, you, you got 10 minutes in Cerebro, I would be like, ah, I don't know if I'm making a moral choice. Because I know that there's some folks who are like being jerks out there on like big l levels. Yeah, there, I mean, there's a list that there's a list I put together a while back that I in my head that uh, I would probably go Dexter on some folks. Yeah. If I had, you know, I mean, if, if there were no like repercussions for me. You know, I, I would probably get a little weird. Kaylin, tell me about the annoying people at work. 
Which ones? The customers? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Kalen works at a place where there are, there are reptiles and mice that are fed to the reptiles. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, and freshly whacked mice. Yes, yeah, freshly a, That's what I was she, talking to him about a conversation. She today. whacked mice for me yeah. when I came and got some mice. Yeah. She's right yeah. there. Just yeah. to, that's your whole career. Did I do career. that for you? Yeah. Sometimes I do it so nonchalant that yeah. I'm just like, oh yeah, okay. You got to get closer. Sorry. Get real close. So getting in here. Get real personal. Tell me, tell me what you feel in your heart of hearts when you tap out a mouse. Oh, it gets me every time. The mice, not so much, but a rat, like, those get me every time. Get you. Yeah, they kind of tug you on my heartstrings a little bit. <laughs> no, no but There's I, folks, I'm sure, I guess people that have had this job before, I hear stories of other people that have had my job, and some of them actually enjoyed it very much so, to oh. the point of where some made art out of blood on the wall, Ooh. and, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> we're oh. giggling and laughing while that's doing like it. That's like sign of serial killer. <laughs> yeah. Like, when you, when you enjoy torturing animals, that's like, yeah. watch out for that one. Yeah. 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 And I was joking about the Dexter shit. I was <laughs> I um, most of the time when I speak, it's in, totally in jest. Yeah. I really, I, I'll, sometimes I'll, I'll like take a, a big bong rip because I'll get, I'll get really socially paranoid when I'm thoroughly cannabinated, and I'll get really, really anxious about like, does everybody know that I'm almost <laughs> always kidding? Like, I really hope, <laughs> I really hope that's known. A lot of people don't. Yeah, and I meet them, and, and they think I'm because I did the same thing, and some people think I'm very mean, and I'm like, really? Yeah. No. It's crazy. Complete opposite. Yeah. You get. I, f- I feel like there's no way not to offend, and and uh, without like you just have to not leave your home. Don't express anything. Don't have any thoughts. Well, it's just like, yeah. It's almost like we have like a tone that other folks don't get until they've known you for a while, and then they know that this tone doesn't mean something bad. It's like oh, he's got that tone. Oh, he's, it's all good. But then the tone changes. The I like being smarmy. I've been told I have a, a tone when I get a little. Yeah. Little when I feel hangry. happy, I get smarmy. 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 That's, when somebody introduced, that's a word that like changed my life. When someone first said smarmy to me, before I even looked up the definition, I was like, hey, that's what I am. Sometimes. <laughs> Not thought, all the time. I thought smarmy was when you were like kind of being like yeah. passive aggressive and sarcastic with someone. Yeah, I thought, well, it's like, I, 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 kind of. <laughs> it's not, I don't know about passive aggressive, but it's definitely this like, it's like, it's, it's like, you know, have you ever heard the, the, the phrase, the shit eating grin? Yeah. It's like right. when you are a shit eating grin, You're like you are a, smarmy a just a uh, suspended in, in midair, uh, cat smile. What's the cat from Alice in Wonderland? The, the Cheshire, Cheshire cat. I, I live a Cheshire existence. Right on. You know? That's got to hurt your face. Your face. I, I, I smile rarely when I'm alone. I don't smile at all. <laughs> I gave it up. Yeah. Like for Lent. Yeah. Did that happen already? Tell me about tell me about the person today about who who said that it was I was inhumane, inhumane to to tap out the mouse before feeding it to the snake. And she meant like particularly that okay, so there was there was this girl who came into Kalen's work apparently and a and wanted to pet the mice that were soon to be doomed. Yes, mice mm. that and are vicious. They eat each other and they're covered f- in their own shit. <laughs> multiples of inbred. Yeah, like yeah. they're just some these, of them have these, tumors. These are but not our so best cute. mice. They're so cute, though. <laughs> they're just- Cute little devil. <laughs> These are not our best mice. Anyway, somebody wanted to uh, to pet them, and then you you had to break I it said, to yeah, them. I said, yeah, go ahead, but I wouldn't. This is gross. And she says, well, what are you going to do with them? And I said, well, it's feeding day. And she asked me and got into detail of how I do this, and she's like, that's inhumane. But she was literally maybe five minutes before that tapping on the glass to the bearded dragon very hardly. Well, you yeah. know, like if I'm making if, it chase her finger, <laughs> but if I live that in a plexiglass inhumane. apartment and you tap on the walls of it when I'm trying to sleep, that's a little different than putting me in a burlap sack and breaking my skull. That's just, it's a little, you think? I don't put them in anything. Just you don't? I thought you said you put them in. <laughs> I, I'm imagining no. when you no. kill a rat that you put it in a burlap sack. No, you sack take it by its tail and just bash it up against yeah. the I, I try to hit just the head so it immediately snaps the neck. And this, is, this, is, uh, this I feel is like the thing of morality. This is like deeply philosophical. So I've never tapped out a mouse. Or anything. Does that make me a better or more humane person? As soon as I got a snake to feed, I'm doing that as much as I gotta. Yeah. But then my life has just. Well, if I don't tap the mouse out and I just put it into the snake bin, 
the snake could get yeah, hurt. Yeah, I've, I've. But then, that. so where is the like that is inhumane to me because I'm trapping something in there with this very vicious adrenaline-filled little thing with teeth and mm-hmm. claws, and then there's just a noodle in there. Yeah, that's inhumane. A reptilian but, noodle. Yeah. But does the does the snake any of the snakes in there that you have to whack the mice to feed? Would any of them like? Like strike? Are they striking? There's not enough room. Oh, really? They're just yeah, little if, tiny. Yeah, things that like strike and sh- constrict <laughs> like that actually need a lot of room to yeah. do that. But realistically, I can't do that safely with people coming down the aisle. Like, gotcha. what's going on over there? I would do it with just me. Like, I try to let the berms like yeah. just get it out of the air. And so it's not—it's not a fair fight. It's not. Well, a, it's they, not right. It's like, not a. It's not true snap gladiator. At it and grab shit. it out of your hand. Mm-hmm. I've seen someone do yeah. that once. It's pretty. It's pretty intense. Yeah. That's like that's like oh, a gladiator fight easily. where the emperor knows who he wants to have be the winner, mm-hmm. and like it seems like the other's gonna win, and it's like ah, get him, get him, get him with a poison dart to the neck, <laughs> like because the people in the in the stands wouldn't be able to notice; they just see him getting <laughs> getting drowsy. No, <laughs> it would be all the same. Uh, anywho, I, I, I'd like to say that. Uh, I think with the whole idea of being humane and all of that, I think that we we should just like accept. Uh, things of reality that, like, I mean, you could make a really strong case that the whole institution of pet ownership and what we do with the ones that we eat in abundance, that the uh, man's relationship with animal is deeply inhumane yeah. in general. But, you know, it's it's got so much momentum going for it, and I'm not trying to tell somebody that, that you got to turn on your German shepherd. That was kind of my final thought with huh? her. It was, like, my final thought, so to speak. Like, I, that was my last word was, like, well, isn't it all a little inhumane? <laughs> and she goes, Hmm. Well, isn't the world and then walks away? <laughs> like, isn't the world food darkness? For thought. <laughs> isn't the world overshadowed with a, a gloom of, of, of darkness? Is it, yes. Isn't it just it entirely is. with a smile? I get the inhumane thing a lot with like vegans. Yeah, they like to. Yeah, well, I'm vegan, so you know all that. Yeah, all that that's that I, I'm like, dude, you're wearing leather shoes. Leather I approach belt. that debate. Yeah, half the time they don't realize what they're wearing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it's from a secondhand store. I didn't, you know, support the business or, what or whatever. Themselves I know with. some ones who looked into it and like actually really tried to make some, it so yeah. that there is nothing on their human mm-hmm. or in their life other than I, I mean, other than the dinosaurism that 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 <laughs> propels their vehicle. You know, <laughs> did I try to be not not vegan about that? Huh? <laughs> the thing that I like to say is that what oil is the remnants of the dinosaur semen? That's a just, that's a horrifying just, just thought. Is that that color yeah. when it comes and, out? And, and the female ejaculate. Oh man, them as well. But both. It's just that there was something special about dinosaur. No, it's just broke. It's just dinosaur bodies in general. I was, I was trying to start a thing. Oh, you, see, that was the thing where you knew I was kidding and I had a moment of stupid. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, see what I did there? I but, flipped it. you know, like, I've eaten broccoli tripping really intensely, and I can hear its screams, and I can <laughs> feel its death in my teeth. And, there's, and, and you know, when I, when I eat, and when I eat, like I had buffalo recently, I did not walk up to a buffalo that was enjoying their life and, and just Nosferatu mm. it, as it as it kicked and died in my mouth. <laughs> but I do that with vegetables all the time, <laughs> all the time, and we just don't care. We Have you seen don't. Sausage Party? Yeah, oh, yeah, man. yeah. That reminds me. That's hilarious. So. Yeah, that imparts some things about. And I just think that the, it's it's not like let's focus on that the whole time. But I just think like it's it's really important for us to like face the darkness of reality because then we can just navigate it better. Like I I, I really I want the best for everyone and everything if it's possible. But there's some things r- right now that. Are just there's so much momentum behind like like the like the beef industry for oh, example yeah. like I don't even know what to do about that if the whole if we woke up tomorrow and everyone was in full agreement of like let's do this differently because right now it's dis- it's just disgusting it's just gross it's a like, hell of a clean dirty up, clean up project and what do you do what do you do you like yeah, what, you've got these huge buildings with all these uh, I, you, you, you can't like well, not just that rehabilitate have, them they, have you seen the drone footage where they send drones over like Farms and oh, you got yeah. those Olympic Cess size like oh dude I'm like Cess. holy crap it looks like liquid copper and, and I swirly. my first thought is throw a match into it like, <laughs> 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 oh, Texas comes out and <laughs> I'd be terrified of what's oh, growing in there God. it would be so it's so bad and if you look at it in in terms of like you know how like people have tried to say that uh that our cities are tumors from uh, from an aerial view like what hmm. is uh, an industrial slaughter situation. Yep. 
just look when you're crossing the bridge when you're going south on 75 and you look over crossing that big old bridge and all that industry yeah. just chugging all that crap whatever the hell all that is yeah. piles of chemicals everywhere i'm like okay well it's gonna- like there's Mix all that together, turn into a liquid. I think everybody would agree that okay. that stuff is foul if they if they knew about it. It's like it's like okay, I used to work at Hungry Howie's, and I don't eat like fast food pizza anymore at all because the practices, the modalities of that I witnessed were so atrocious. And everybody like has a thing like that of like oh don't eat it. Like you you said you don't want to eat at restaurants because you used to work at one, right. at one, and it's filthy back there. Yeah. But if you can just if you can just live in blissful ignorance of the fact the thing and, and you know it God bless people's hearts if that's if that's where they're at right now. Um, I'm I, I'll just say I don't want it to be my job to get on a megaphone and tell people that things are worse than they thought. <laughs> you know like that's just yep. I don't want that to be my job. Uh, but like with the it, it, so if you could like if you could like force folks to watch like some so they got some really horrifying uh, meat industry documentaries right now yeah they're gnarly and I've I've seen people that you would never think go vegan for like three weeks after watching one of those uh, you know and that that's impressive I feel like that's how you rate it instead of st- a, a four star system for uh, a meat industry is horrible documentary it's yeah. how many weeks somebody goes vegan <laughs> I, I did it for the better part of a year. I was yeah. with someone that was like hardcore vegan for like 13 years, and they really showed me a lot of things. And I ate really nice for like a whole year straight, yeah. and it was the best food. Yeah, you know. And then I kind of went back to a few old things and kind of jumped off the mm-hmm. wagon. But there's yeah. a lot of places I really won't eat. I still have tubbies every once in a while. Pancheros up there. You just on. threw out tubbies. Oh, tubbies. That's where oh, you go. Yeah. It's tubbies. They well, offer I mean, the friendly bread now. Yeah, uh, but I only go to one particular tubbies because I know bread. the guy that owns the place and it's really. We've started saying uh, original instead of organic and friendly for for, for gluten free because I've just heard <laughs> those words organic and gluten free so many times. Yeah. Uh, that uh, that I I immediately just I become. Uh, hateful yeah. when, I, when I hear them. Not at the person, just in just in just reality becomes an enemy when I hear gluten free organic. I just like you know because uh, there was the whole vocal <laughs> veganism thing for the longest time. Like that was the thing. There were so many folks who were so vocal about how vocal vegans are about being vegan. Remember remember that that was yeah. like it was like everywhere you heard it was like the meme of the of the year for a time of like vegans always want to talk about being vegans. But there ca- there came a time where and the vegans tell you how they're changing the view of vegans by talking about how to be a vegan better <laughs> but they're still doing the same thing better well i feel i feel like uh, see I, i'm in an interesting place in this because like if humanity agreed that like this this is let's say unethical then i then then i wouldn't be like oh my god don't take my bur- take, don't take my my uh my my meal time away i would just i, I would be fine with that I actually think that there's a lot of things that like max ma- match the texture and taste like really well. The thing is that it's everywhere, and most folks like that you encounter. I get into a lot of situations on the road where there, there's fo- lovely folks that I'm staying with who don't ha- have had no exposure to the idea that that there are choices when it comes to eat, eating stuff. Anyway, I'd like I don't want to be that jerk told. who has to turn things down all the time because you you it's almost it's almost impossible to say no, I don't want this beautiful meal that you've cooked that you feel good about without <laughs> seeming elitist and pretentious. Right. I'm sorry, there's a chemical in here I can't pronounce, but it'll slowly kill me and yeah. I'm not going to eat this meal that you've sort prepared of. for me. I am I am I I I think uh the 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 vocal veganism thing is just like impractical. I think that, that those folks if they re- if you really really cared about like about like doing all that you can to like save animals and whatnot, you got to use trickery. You've got uh you've got to strap people to some chairs and vegan trickery dose them and make them watch documentaries. No, you just like I just I just don't like the the pr- going on the principle of like let's stop this entirely. That's, you're just asking for a dismissal. That's not going to happen. Uh, but if you took little, if you just wanted to, you know, make little baby steps for uh, for being less awful to animals, I think you could actually make some progress happen. But a lot of folks are just very, very stern about like, no, none of it. And, but the only thing that you really do is like change your personal choices and just vocalize that you do this or don't do that sort of thing. Do you think maybe owning some really cute pets that aren't too terrible to? To maintain would help people, would would send them down the right path to be nicer towards animals. Even though we were debating the whole like is pet ownership uh, humane 
you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Would, would owning pet for someone that hates... I don't see that ever going away. No. No People idea what you weird, just asked. weird thing with owning pets. Yeah. That is never going anywhere. Yeah, the consideration that that's... That that's that that's Because, you know, like, I remember hearing at one point that uh, PETA, like... Wants to kill your cat? Oh shit! <laughs> is this true? Why thing? would they? It was at some point. It's funny well, because <laughs> because like we've we've taken them in and made them like worthless in the wild. So now your your cat sucks at survival. Your cat your cat your your, your cats and dogs are GMOs. In in yeah. in America? Yeah, I think there's like a an island in Japan where it's just more it's all cats it's all rabbits I heard it's I heard there's a rabbit island rabbit island just too just a bunch of bunnies so I heard a cat island rabbit island would be amazing oh my god rabbit I would love that really monkey cool. island boot would be it. awesome but monkeys scare me because yeah. of the omen the omen the baboons uh, I just well, feel like my, and, that, and there was that lady who got her face torn off yeah the which chimps. isn't like just don't you know go stereotyping all monkeys based on one monkey that flipped out and ripped face off but just knowing the face ripping potential of monkeys has me a little bit uneasy about monkeys yeah like when folks like when, when I've, I've went to pet a snake in your presence before I'm like uh, does it bite and you're like no it probably won't it's like no the question is can Typically, it when I, anybody <laughs> says that to me I say anything with a mouth can bite. Yeah. That is my answer every time. <laughs> wow. Because it's true. It's, it, are you going to provoke it? So the woman that got her face ripped off, I guarantee she did something to provoke that animal. Yeah. Slowly over time. Probably yeah. chimps just, water's just boiling over. It's like, I'm going to fuck this human up. Yeah. Watch this shit. <laughs> One right? more Watch fucking this. time, Here make you. me press a button. <laughs> One more time. Not playing your stupid games, lady. <laughs> uh. Off with your face. I got bit real thorough when I was a little baby kid. Right on the back of the leg. I can feel it now. It was this little, like, York, what? little Yorkie. Who bit you? Oh, oh yeah, those. Yorkies. Oh, my God. Those were the only those. ones that bit me in clinic, too. Got me good. Only ones. What, why don't I, why don't we, we nix that, that particular line? Hmm. The Yorkie. The Yorkie. Do, they need, do we need those ones particularly? People like those ones because you can carry them in oh. purses. It seems like a You know, there's a really humane way of doing that. Like, if we want to discontinue... One of one of the strains of dog, like I hear people argue they want to about do that with hugs. Pits. Yeah. Oh my Ooh, god, what? that's terrible. Oh, they're, but they're cool. They are cool. They actually used to be rescue dogs, and now they got this bad stigma about them because people are using them for fighter dogs. So then they got that. Oh, then you yeah. make, then you got to make that argument about humans. We got a lot of humans right. to, to. What about the like the little euthanize. pugs with the smash faces Those that have actually, a hard time breathing? Yeah, yeah that's that. what I was about to say. Is pugs? So so Those pugs, are terrible. That I feel like just flat out is inhumane but yeah, one of those yeah. things of like you know i am not i'm not the one who holds the gavel of which which dog uh, dynasties get Just to like carry on you know breed these poor animals until you know but even though i think they're so cute oh, they yeah. their breathing is impaired the their yeah. life seems kind of miserable they die pl- plenty younger from what i've understood mm-hmm. um but and there would be a really humane way of stopping that it sounds so bad we're gonna we, we don't have to kill all the pugs just Stop. Stop making yeah. them. Yeah, can't, can't you can't have pug babies. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it'd be like China. You're li- limited to. X That's like saying pug that babies. I can't have a baby, though. That's how I feel about my Caucasianness. What people tell you you can't have babies? I, I, I don't want my child to have the potential of sunburn experiences. Oh, I'm, I want I, I, my first my first act as 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 a, a protecting father. Is to not let m- my kid be white. <laughs> is, to, is to not is to not interbreed with with the, the the Caucasian species. Gotcha. And it's and and this is this, this makes, is for real. That's interesting. It's it, profoundly racist. <laughs> but, well, but 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 it's okay to be um, against your own. But like, but uh, that's your evo- like that to me would be your body's evo- way of like evolving. Exactly. I feel it in my bones. It's not just an intellectual thought. It's like when I get sunburned, I I just I put on the aloe and I say. Not my kid. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> it ends with me. This sucks right now, but evolution is going to continue. And I think like I think of like of like DNA, uh, like, you know, you, you, there's there's some things that kind of suggest that there's a carried on collective memory sort of situation going on, um, you know, with the slime ladder, cosmic yeah. serpent sort of thing. Like, anywho, like. I I mostly don't want to have a biological child, but sometimes I think maybe the things that I like think and some of the some of the the, the good uh, f- uh, philanthropic or 
kind things that, that exist uh, within my being. Maybe, maybe there is something more than nurture about passing that on, and I should uh, do that. But, but right now, I feel so okay with my line ending with me. My sister told me the other day that she's that she's thinking it might be possible that she'll procreate. I was like, explain that. <laughs> you think you'd be? You think by the time you have kids, you'd be okay with uh, them purposely messing with the chromosomes so that your your child will have more melanin? Um, I mean, why why would we do this afterward when there's there's a foolproof method to to? to I'm just curious. Like, because if it doesn't come out with as much melanin as you would hope to prevent, let's say, let's say said I fall sunburn. I, let's say I injections. fall profoundly yeah. in love. Is with that a, sweet... is that going to be a thing soon? You can just inject melanin into your skin. And... I'm sure you could. Yeah. Like well, then, the folks that do the thing with the lips. Yeah. Or the Botox. Let's say I fall profoundly in love with a Swede, and she's just like just a moment of sunlight, and she just just bursts into flame like a vampire. <laughs> you know. Um, I think that I could. Explained, and, and if I was so in love with her, then she's a reasonable person, and I could explain why we should adopt. You know, because I like in prison, like my, my genetics is, uh, uh, it's, it, I mean, I'm all, it's all right. We're all, I feel all right, uh, but but I don't feel like ubermensch, and I feel like a, like first thing of, of of parenting, just try to make your kid ubermensch. <laughs> I'm not ready to pass on my <clears throat> my nonsense to another biological entity. I got That's a stigmatism like a copy ball. Of me. Yeah, really. I mean, <laughs> the thyroid thing bothers me. That scares me. Is, you know, is, are they going to not get that? Or you know, yeah. you they don't gonna even be... know. You could have it. Oh, it's not there. What about <laughs> what about cyborg children? Oh, you know? see, that's another step. They get yeah. chipped right when they come out. What about cyborg spouse? I think about that a lot. Do you, Kaylin? Do you think like there there is something inherently important about? There being a, a human body and quote unquote soul that you're in love with, do you think that you could be that you could could bind with the, with the machine? Oh, we're getting into transhumanism now. I, no, not with the machine, but I think that you can love a lot of different people. In a you lot don't of think you could love ways. a robot? Um, you seen Bicentennial Man? I have. But I think what about Chappie? I haven't seen Chappie, so that's I can't. Really, that Chappie's really good. It is? Yeah. All right. Yeah, still when I think of that, it's it's knowing that it was some some kind of way manipulated. Then... But what is that? Back to the thing of, like, what if somebody died and didn't lose the soul weight? Uh, you yeah. know? Like, mm-hmm. what, 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 what is this? I'm not, not saying, I'm not arguing. I'm just being devil's advocate here. Right. What is it about it being a human that makes that natural? Maybe this is just the next step. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Hmm. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Bow, now, now. You know, I'm that jerk too, and that's why I think that, that, that like it's a, there's a, there's there's an evolutionary purpose for for conservatism and li- liberalism, and I mean like the real things of what those are, not this ridiculous idea that we have of it these days. But like the idea, like when I think of con- conservative, like how how conservatism like saves us from destroying ourselves is you need a guy on the porch with his cane, like hey, hold on, kids, let's not go creating artificial intelligence that wipes out humanity. Come on, he does he doesn't say it that specific, but that's what that's doing is like hold on here we're getting into weird territory and then you've got me who's like i'm ready to have a robot spouse i'm ready to (laughs) abscond the flesh monster and jetsons were like prepping us for that with the with the little maid Mm -hmm. the robot maid Uh, like wasn't that the first like robot like first robot that i was attracted to was well, I actually, it was a '70s show too that had like robotic, like they, appliances and such. Well, I don't yeah. know if I could get down with an appliance, but if it looked more like you know a, a lady, that <laughs> yeah, like in Westworld. When I saw Alien, the first one, and the the dude who was who was a, who was a cyborg. Oh yeah, and when I that immediately got me thinking. I wasn't even pubescent yet, but like I was immediately thinking like, oh my god, like you could have a really great, you could have somebody who you designed. And then I and then cr- I had a cr- create a wrestler uh, <laughs> video games like got me thinking like you could just design your friends you know to be like weird science yeah you but, could just play Second Life if you want and not do anything else all weird day. science I have a friend who is who is like a professional <laughs> troll and he goes into Second Life Second Life is a video game where it's like 
it's like a like a massive world sim sort of situation. You live your life in this in this massive world thing. But anyway, he would go in there, and there's people. The, the, here's the thing that's also tragically hilarious: is there's there's a lot of folks that need Second Life. For, for various real reasons of, like, that's where they're living their life. So, you, so there's folks who are, like, in a trance and really, like, um, projecting their ego and existence into this thing. And, and that's awesome that they get Second Life. So my, but my friend uh, l- likes to troll things. And, uh, and he would go in as a character that he would hack to be a giant flaming dick. <laughs> and just <laughs> there would be people who would be, like, having their conversations and stuff and living their second life. And he would come up and start patting them with their... With Does it, like, hop around and have arms and, like, attack people? Or oh, was it, was, it just, it like, was a thing that just kind of, like, like a giraffe? It just kind of limped over and, and smacked people? Hilarious. Like a giant knob? I watched it like it was a professional sport. <laughs> him, him, like, <laughs> making people furious. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's like what, like uh, he, he would say, no like, repercussions in that. Uh, 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 trolling is when is when you uh, you find people who, who are who are serious, and uh, and 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 you make them a- very angry. But you're not serious, and then you watch them get more and more angry until they hate you, and and then it's the best. <laughs> and I, I get it. I think I see your phone making little messages at us. Whatever. <laughs> dun, 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 I had a time where I, 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 um, I may or may not have, have, have DMT'd and then looked and I was going to do a video logged and oh, I looked man. into the eye of the camera and was it over? F- like felt it looking <laughs> back, you know? I'm sorry, Zach. Yeah. I can't do this right now. <laughs> it was just like that. It was just like that. <laughs> Creepy. Or like. Like if you're super high and you're looking at cats, or like if you're around cats and they just kind of like they're little sentinels and they just yeah. stand there and like stare you down and their little eyes. I've like had some experiences with cats. Oh yeah. man, Oof. you met Cosmo, right? I My swear cat? they know what we're saying. He used to stand up on top of the cupboard and just peer down at you. Oh. Just... There was this. There was this. This thing that I watched. It was like a, there was like some some like Tales from the Crypt esque show where there was a cat that killed its owner. It was this is like the like serial killer cat, and and I had a cat that looked just like it, and it was it, I had I started locking my room, <laughs> you know, because just because of the possibility of things. <laughs> I mean, but like putting his little paw in your mouth and taking your breath and all that. I'm not smothering you. But with the the thing with the AI killing us, I just don't I don't think that that's how it how it goes. I th- well, here's what I think. I think that as long as there's people being like, hold on, hold on, as long as we're terrified about it, it's. It it shouldn't be that scary. There as was. long as we proceed with with real. But how do we know? Caution. How do we know it's still in check? There was some computer system that actually they had created. I cannot remember who they were. Or I remember reading about Fox it. Specific, specific, right. specific, specific. <laughs> so they had this thing able to access all of this information, and the first thing it did was actually send a message, a death threat to somebody. And everyone was freaking out because they were like, where did this come from? We didn't tell it to do this. And it did it four times where it was trying to send a death threat. That, ma- that, that says to me, electricity is a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I think that we're just electricity going through a human situation. And maybe there's some soul stuff going on. But maybe it's just this spark of, of reality or if you want to call it God. And that tells me that if the first thing it does when it achieves self-awareness is be like, I will kill. Then it's like, OK, let's back off off that. <laughs> let's let's live an organic existence a little longer. So we come to the end of this first episode of the nonsense the nonsense What have sensus. we learned, if anything? Mm, other than dog people should marry dog people and cat people should marry cat people? I've advanced nothing mm-hmm. about my understanding <laughs> right. at all. I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah. I think it's Learning an infinite journey. Yeah. Infinite journey. I, I feel more oblivious <laughs> than, when, than when I awoke this morning. Good. All right. This has been the first episode of The Nonsensus. Um, I'm not afraid of artificial intelligence. Um, I re- refuse to bring another sunburnable human into this world. Um, and uh, here, here. I've yet to tap out a mouse, but I accept the darkness of reality. I, I am the shadow on the evening star. We're going to have to <laughs> dig into more of this reality thing very soon. On the next episode of... The nonsenses. Thank you, Kaylin. Thank you. And Marcus. Good evening. <laughs>